Yes. So here we are going to create a requisition in procurement module. So if we want to create requisition, which role is required for us? Advanced procurement request. Advanced procurement request. So once we have this particular role, then we will be able to create a requisition. Make sure that we have the data access also. Make sure that we have the data access also. So once the role as well as the data access is assigned for our user, what we can do is we can log in and go for create a requisition. So what is requisition document? A requisition is a document which is created by the employees. Whenever the employees are required some goods or service or amount, any services required, employees will go for raise the requisition. Nothing but a request. Nothing but a request. Let's go to navigator here. Procurement. Purchase requisitions. Go to purchase requisitions. We have two types of requisitions. One is internal requisition. Another one is a purchase requisition. Internal requisition will be created between the inventory organizations. If the goods are required from one inventory to another inventory, it can be raised within the company. If the goods are required from suppliers, if we do not have the goods from the warehouse or we want to purchase these goods from the suppliers, then we will go for create a purchase requisition. When we go for very first time create a requisition here, enter requisition line, system will ask us to enter some default options here. Requisition preferences. Nothing but default values for this employee whenever they log into the procurement module. Whenever they log into the procurement module here. So here we can find the requester name automatically and uh, deliver to location, default deliver to location we can find here. Let me choose uh, some default location here. And here I can see what type of invoice, oh, sorry, requisition, is it expense or inventory? Expense means that particular uh, uh, document is uh, whatever we are raising, the goods or services is going to be an expenditure. And inventory means receive that particular goods into inventory organization. So we are going to choose the destination type as uh, inventory over here. And we can also choose some inventory if required. These all are default values. So that when you try to create a requisition, by default, the requisition will be raised. By default, requisition will be raised. Okay. So no need to enter. If at all we want to change the values, of course, we can change. I'm mentioning that the default account, MRF uh, charge account over here. And uh, let me choose the account combination here. Now the default preferences are there. In case if at all we want to change those default values, for example, after some time, I would like to say uh, change the default uh, deliver to location here. Then we will go for use this option called here. Here is an option, edit. Again, the page will be populated. Then we'll be able to change the default account or location. This. Okay. So whenever... We log in very first time as a buyer and try to uh, create a requisition. System will ask us to fill the uh, default preferences for this particular requisition document. Go to more tasks, enter uh, requisition line here. The moment when we click on this enter requisition line, system will open the page. Requisition page. So in the requisition page, uh, we will find uh, three levels of information, header level, line level, 
and uh, distributions. At air level, we are going to enter requisition number, business unit, this total currency, this details. Line level item name, category, quantity, unit of measurement. Now, if we look at here, the system has opened the requisition line directly. Then where do we enter the header details? After we add this requirement to the cart, it's like almost online shopping, right? So once we add this particular line to the cart, then we can find the header information and we can find uh, distributions over here, nothing but billing information. We can see that a uh, couple of uh, values is already filled because we already got these all values from default preferences. Just now we filled, right? That's if at all we want to change, of course we can change, not a problem. Let me choose the item name here. These items will be uh, retrieved uh, from the inventory, which is associated with our business unit. Whatever the BU has been assigned, we can search for an item here. Let me just take the search item here. And here we'll specify how much quantity we require. Let's say 20 items are required and price, let me go ahead with $5 here. And a lot of options are there. Negotiation is uh, required or not. Nothing but RFQ and quotation document or this particular uh, requisition is already negotiated. So some of the requisitions does not require. We can say that it's already negotiated. It means uh, we have already tie up with the supplier directly will release the order. If at all we want to set the default supplier, we can set suggested supplier name, supplier site, and supplier contact information can be specified over here. Let's go for add to the card, this document. The moment when we add this particular line to the card, uh, then system will automatically generate the header details also. If we want to enter multiple lines, for example, after we add this particular requisition line to the card, again, if we want to go for enter the line and add to the card, we can add. Like this, we have to add multiple lines here to the requisition document. This is about the delivery information, who is requesting the goods, is the goods are urgent, and then requested delivery date, suggested by your name, deliver to location when where the requirement is required, delivery date, these details. So if we want to enter one more line and go for add, we can use this add to code. Otherwise, directly we can go to this, to the cart. Let me go to the cart here. I don't want to add another line. Let me review the document here, requisition document over here. Now system is showing that this is a requisition number and this is the business unit, a requisition business unit. And we have the lines information here. Here we have the lines information. If at all we would like to modify this lines information, we can modify. If we want to go for add another record at the line level duplicate, we can do it and delete this record and we can perform all these operations. Okay, so let's uh, verify this uh, approval process before we go for submit for approvals. Approval management engine, AME is uh, used to configure the approvals, of course, we have the workflow options also. In both the scenarios, uh, we can apply. AME stands for Approval Management Engine. By using AME also, we can configure the approvals for the requisition document. And we have the workflows also, BPM, Business Process Management Workflow. Through that uh, BPM flows also, we can go for configure the approvals for this particular requisition document. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just testing this document requires any approvals or not, or is it auto approval? 
So I'm just checking. So, so we have to click the button called manage approvals button. The moment when we click on this button, it will show the approvals information for this particular document. What is the amount? Total $100 and tax, we got 9.25. Total amount which approval is required is 109.25. This is very important. If at all we want to add any notes or attachments to our uh, requisition document can be assigned here, note to the supplier. And if we want to add any attachments, can be added here, attachment documents. And if at all we want to go for uh, provide any information regarding the approvals, we'll do it from AME as I said. Now what system is showing is applications development framework. It means it's auto approval. We don't need to go with any approval process. Let me just go for submit. Now the requisition document is an auto approval process over here. This is requisition number. And it's been submitted for approval process. Of course, it will be approved automatically. If we want to view the PDF document for this, click on this button, view PDF document. We can find the BI report, which is C date report actually. Oh, generally, client wants to develop the new reports or customize the C date reports. Technical consultants, uh, will modify the queries and layout and try to design either new BI report or customize the existing report. Now we can find the uh, requisition document here, whatever we have created, it will be in PDF format, this. This is a standard format with Oracle logo and, and all these things. And maybe as per the client's requirement, we are supposed to work with this document, it's, it'll be done by the technical consultant. We don't need to worry about that. Right now, we just wanted to know whether the requisition has been approved successfully or not. There is an option here, manage requisitions. Go to the task manage requisitions and we'll search for the document. This is requisition number. Let's go for search. Now I could see that here. This is requisition number description. Status is pending approval. It means still it's uh, waiting for approval. Even though it is auto approval, it means uh, it does not require any approval process. It takes a couple of minutes to get approval. It looks like, yeah. Now the document has been approved successfully. This is how the requisition will be created and how the requisition will be submitted for approval and get approval. So if we want to create a requisition, which role we required? Advanced procurement request. And how about the data access? Entire procurement module data access is business unit. We are supposed to assign the business unit. Based on that, user can create the requisitions for that particular document. Right whatever the organization is associated, business unit, the employee can go for. Now this is the requisition line. We can have corresponding purchase orders information, shipment information, and a receipt information. Here it is. This, this is about the first document in procurement module called requisition. Okay. Thank you.